Now, car guys like you and me have one thing in common. We can recognize a car by the way it sounds. And that has been synonymous with Porsche because they have the iconic flat six in the lineup. But that is not the case with the entry level 718 Boxer because it comes with a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. But this thing has an exhaust and it has a tune from harmonics tuning. So I'm going to tell you all about this car today. Now, Porsches and flat six engines are two things that go hand in hand. Porsche still uses flat six engines to this day and age in the 911 and 718 Boxer and Caymans. But unfortunately, due to emissions regulations, the standard 718 Boxster doesn't come with a naturally aspirated flat six like its predecessor, the 981 Boxster, used to. Now, you can only get the 4 liter flat six engine in the Cayman GTS, Boxster GTS, Cayman GT4, Boxster Spider, and GT4 RS. Now, that may seem like a lot of cars, but the GTS models aren't available in India, or at least we haven't seen any 718 GTSs, and the GT products are super limited and ultra rare to get your hands on. Trust us, it is easier to buy a Lamborghini Huracan in India than a Porsche GT product. So Porsche stuck with the boxer engine layout, but put in a 2-litre flat 4 instead of a flat 6 engine in the 718. Now again, when it comes to the design, this might not have the classic rear engine silhouette of the 911, but it has all of the recognizable Porsche design traits in it. For example, these headlights, they're not there with the grille or anything, they're actually up here on the fenders and it has the four dot uh, DRLs inside and it looks very Porsche. Coming to the side, since this is a mid-engine car, the intakes are on the side of the car so that it has the optimum amount of airflow going inside and again onto the rear, again being a mid-engine car, it does not have the sloping back roof line like the 911, rather it's a much more flatter design but it's a classic sports car design and I don't think there is any other sports car in the market which competes with this which looks more recognizable than the 718 Boxster. <sighs> Hop into the Boxster and first of all, it is super low just like any other sports car. But the coolest thing about the Boxster is that since this is a Porsche, it's inspired by Le Mans and the key goes in over here and it's on the right hand side because it is the best accessible location the driver and can quickly put in the key, start the car and just drive off. And again, the key is in the shape of the car and it fits directly into the key slot and you just press on the brake and crank the ignition and the car comes to life. The other things that are inside the car which are really nice is first of all this steering wheel. Well, this steering wheel has been taken directly from the Porsche 918 Spider because this is a newer Porsche and all Porsches after this is a newer Porsche and all Porsches after the 918 Spider basically got this steering wheel and this is an amazing steering wheel. Proper 9 and 3 grips and the paddle shifters feel amazing when you click on them. And again on the steering wheel you have your drive mode selector which is a little Manatino kind of inspired uh, selector. You have four driving modes, you have your normal, you have sport, you have sport plus and you have individual. Apart from that, you have a infotainment system in the middle which has all of your latest tech inside, latest in terms of 2018, 2019. You have your gear selector in the middle and you can control your uh, convertible top with these two buttons over here. You also have a button over here which can control your spoiler at the back. The driving position in this car again is something to highlight because I don't think anyone else does driving positions this good and this is a Porsche, I mean everything is just precise to the point and I don't think it gets much better than this. Now, the 718 Boxer has one interesting thing, it's not like a 911, whereas the 911 has its engine hanging out over here, the Boxer has its engine over here in the middle. Now, unfortunately, this is no Ferrari, so you can't really see the engine, but trust me, this is one heck of a power unit. A 2-litre turbocharged 4-cylinder, but it's not an inline 4, it's a flat 4, like a Subaru WRX, but this thing, with its harmonics tune and its exhaust system, produces 375 horsepower, which is going to be immense in such a small little car and especially with the weight being all over here in the middle this is going to be one of the most balanced driving experiences that I can think of so I think I need to shut up get into the driver's seat and chuck it around the track
god this thing even if it's a convertible it's a proper little weapon on the track and this tune by harmonic tuning it's so aggressive and the owner has fitted an exhaust system so it is a bloody monster over here on the track and i know that this flat 4 is not the best sounding engine but the power is undeniable the old na flat 6 i mean it was a singer of a motor but the thing is you had to be always on the boil to get some sort of power out of it whereas in this the power is literally everywhere in the rev band and especially with this tune harmonic tuning has killed it and i mean even if it's not a singer like the flat 6 it sounds aggressive it sounds muscly i love the way it sounds and it's a very unique motor like where do you get flat 4s nowadays only subaru and porsche are the two manufacturers making it and it makes it very unique it doesn't sound like a inline 4 it sounds more aggressive it sounds more raw and definitely turbocharging the 718 was probably not the best option for porsche but what can you say i mean the performance gains from a turbocharger is undeniable the way this thing just shoots out of a corner is just maddening and all of this while i have been driving in only normal drive i think it's time to turn up the ante sport plus everything gets a little firmer the shifts are crisp i think it's time to give it some beans over here on this straight traction is of course on it's not my car i don't want to do something stupid oh my god and the brakes oh my god the turn in the way this thing just handles itself and this is a tight twisty technical track not really made for a car it's a go kart track but this thing even over here where it's not basically it's forte this thing is an absolute beast it handles itself so nicely the chassis control the suspension and this pdk transmission is telepathic telepathic is the only word because i know i have said that some transmissions are telepathic but that's in relation to what else is competing in its segment but this is basically the best transmission that you can get i can't imagine how telepathic like a proper gt product or a proper little porsche with a flat 6 engine or something even more aggressive from porsche will be on track i mean this in its of itself is super impressive and i'm not even touching the limits of what this thing can do on this track plus it's a greasy day out here i don't want to risk anything like i said it's not my car but even with this 8 tenths that i'm doing in this car it is a proper little monster everything is on point this is what porsche is known for and i'm very thankful to the owner for trusting me with this little beauty i mean it's an experience that i won't forget for many many years to come a mid engine porsche on the track maybe not at full beans but it's still a special moment for me nonetheless
Now this being a Porsche, of course the modifications aren't going to be cheap. The tune for this car is 65,000 rupees. Actually not that bad, but the APR catback exhaust system is a whopping 225,000 rupees. Yup, but definitely it spruces up the whole driving experience by giving a sharper throttle response and more grumble to the exhaust note. Coming to how tuner friendly the 2 liter turbo flat 4 is, well, you can do a stage 2 and probably gain another 30 to 40 bhp out of the engine. But the main issue with the 718 is the cooling. The 718's aftermarket cooling options are very sparse, and because of that, many tuners are against tuning the 718's flat 4 to its full potential because there are a couple of turbo upgrades but no cooling system upgrades, which is a recipe for disaster. So yes, until and unless cooling isn't sorted out, a turbo upgrade on this car isn't recommended. But when it comes to everything else, well, the best way to describe it is by saying that the 718 feels like a massive go-kart on wheels. The way it moves around, the input and the way it responds to your inputs feels like a massive go-kart, which is a good trait to have. Now, after driving this thing on the track, I'm still awestruck because even if this is the entry-level Porsche, it's just as good as anything else in the lineup. The sheer precision, the way it darts into a corner, the throttle input, everything is just precise. It's quick, it's German, and that's what I like about it. It might not be a drama filled car. The exhaust note is not the best around, but if it comes to just driving, I don't think it gets much better than this in this sort of price range. And that's why I think so. The 718 Boxster should be on your lookout if you're looking for a nice little sports car with great handling. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is the Drivers Hub. Subscribe to our channel, comment down below what you thought of this stage 1 harmonics tuning 718 boxer and I'll see you in the next one.